This is a sample of the information provided as part of the flexible training resources available through HACCP.com. Our training courses are designed to provide training participants with an understanding of food safety and quality system elements and also offer user-friendly assessment activities and competency checklists to complete the training cycle. Edible Cannabis Standards Key Definitions for Edible Cannabis Standards Aflatoxin any of a class of toxic compounds produced by certain molds found in food. Aflatoxins are attributable to human health impacts such as liver damage and cancer. Cannabis, cannabis, often known as marijuana, is plant with a stiff upright stem, divided serrated leaves and glandular hairs that produces chemicals known as cannabinoids. Cannabis has designated legal and illegal uses based on geographical areas and is often consumed as a psychoactive mind-altering drug and for therapeutic applications. Cannabinoids Cannabinoids include any of a group of closely related compounds which include cannabinol and the active constituents of cannabis. Edible Cannabis Products this group of foods is purposefully produced with the addition of any number of forms of cannabis marijuana products, extracts or infusions. Good Laboratory Practices or GLP, practices adopted to ensure appropriate levels of control are achieved within a laboratory environment. Good Manufacturing Practices or GMP, practices adopted to ensure appropriate levels of control is achieved within a food business environment. Homogeneity, homogeneity describes the state of being all the same or all of the same kind. In the context of edible cannabis products, Homogeneity refers to the consistent uniform distribution of cannabinoids throughout a finished product. Housekeeping, cleanliness, neatness and orderliness of an area with the designation of a proper place for everything and everything in its proper place. Good housekeeping practices often preclude the occurrence of product contamination within food businesses. In the context of food businesses, Good housekeeping practices or GHP is a term used to describe best practice applications. ISO 17025 ISO 17025 is a global standard, established by the International Organization for Standardization, for the technical competence of calibration and testing laboratories. Immunocompromised The term immunocompromised is used to describe the status of a person having an impaired immune system. An impaired immune system commonly occurs due to illness or as a consequence of medical treatments. Primary Production the production of raw materials for consumption or for further processing. Solvent, in relation to edible cannabis products, a solvent is a chemical or combination of chemicals used to dissolve other substances. Solvents are often used to extract the cannabinoids from marijuana. Terpenoids, terpenoids are organic chemicals that are naturally produced by cannabis plants and contribute to the distinctive aroma of such plants and their products. THC or tetrahydrocannabinol. Tetrahydrocannabinol a crystalline compound that is the main active ingredient of cannabis. Edible Cannabis Standards Development When considering the development, documentation and implementation of edible cannabis standards within food safety and quality management systems, the following information should be considered to ensure effective outcomes about edible cannabis standards. As edible cannabis products become increasingly more popular within some jurisdictions, the scope of related food safety and quality considerations for such products has also grown. As a substance with many lauded and sometimes debated human health benefits, cannabis straddles the line between a therapeutic and recreational substance. Edible cannabis products may be consumed by a broad range of individuals, including those who may be suffering from illnesses or undergoing medical treatments that may render them immunocompromised and more susceptible to foodborne illness or related complications. Because edible cannabis products have a delayed effect upon consumers following consumption, it is important to consider that excess consumption in order to experience the effects of the product may have health impacts. In this regard, it is important to facilitate clear and accurate product labeling to ensure the dosing of THC and other cannabinoids for consumer consideration. The following information is intended to be used as guidance as it does not constitute legal advice. It is not the intention of this information to support or oppose the use of cannabis within food production. This information is provided as a resource for the consideration of application of best practice food safety and quality programs.
It is important that food businesses involved with the production, packaging and or sale of edible cannabis products are aware of the legal requirements both within the jurisdiction of production and also for the jurisdiction of sale. What types of foods may be infused with cannabis? The range and types of foods that may contain cannabis is broad and varied. As the trend of edible cannabis products has evolved, so too has the innovation spectrum. Common types of edible cannabis foodstuffs may include alcoholic and non-alcoholic beverages, baked goods, canned goods, chocolates, hard or soft confectionery, infused oils, savory snack products. Key considerations for product design and development. Along with the standard elements of product design and development for the food sector, the following elements require additional consideration for edible cannabis products, serving size, homogeneity, and restricted access. As edible cannabis products typically have a delayed onset of effect, it is generally considered best practice for packaging and labeling to include details of serving size including individually identified servings and the amount of THC per milligram per serving size and per package. This is important as users may consume too much product, resulting in an excessive high or potential overdose where serving size recommendations are not defined or are not accurate. To ensure the amount of THC per serving and per package is correct, it is important to facilitate a uniform distribution of THC throughout the product. Ensuring homogeneity of THC within an edible cannabis product means that the THC is evenly distributed throughout the product to ensure the consumer can reply on the specified serving size to deliver the related volume of THC. In some jurisdictions, a limit may be mandated for the total volume of THC permitted per serving and or per THC per package. As part of edible cannabis product design and development processes, it is important to consider the available homogeneity testing methods and whether these are suitable for the product being manufactured. The outcomes of homogeneity testing are commonly linked to defined acceptable variance tolerances. These are commonly referenced as a percentage variance tolerance. Because of the psychoactive, mind-altering, effect of edible cannabis products they must be restricted from access by children. In this regard, it is important that product design and development protocols consider the clear identification of edible cannabis products to avoid consumption by children. Packaging formats and materials should also reduce the risk of inadvertent consumption by children. Has up considerations for cannabis materials and products. Contamination of edible cannabis products can be significantly reduced by the application of well-structured food safety and quality programs based on the HACCP methodology. The following risk areas should be considered as part of any HACCP risk assessment for the use of cannabis materials for the production of edible cannabis products, microbiological hazards, including pathogens and spoilage organisms and aflatoxin producing molds, physical hazards, chemical hazards, including agricultural and pest control chemicals and processing production chemicals including solvents, allergen hazards, regulatory hazards, including homogeneity, serving sizes, packaging and labeling standards, quality hazards, testing and assessment of cannabis materials and products. As with any other analytical activity, the testing and assessment of cannabis materials and products must be facilitated in a manner which provides consistent robust science-based outcomes. The following considerations are important to achieving best practice testing and assessment outcomes, ensuring good laboratory practices concepts are implemented on a perpetual basis. Uniform sampling programs and collection methods based on best practice applications. Facilitating in-process sampling and testing throughout the process from raw materials through processing to the finished product to gain an understanding of process impacts on key measurable parameters. Documented protocols for managing testing and assessment failures. Use of standardized testing methodologies to ensure results from different laboratories are measurable against each other. Implementation of proficiency testing activities to validate and verify the accuracy of testing and assessment outcomes. Utilizing a suitably accredited or licensed external laboratory where required, including ISO 17025 certified laboratories accredited by an accredited independent third party, where external laboratories are utilized.
their scope of accreditation and licensing should be verified to ensure they meet testing standards both within the region of manufacture and also for the region of sale and or use of related cannabis materials and finished products. Some jurisdictions may have specific testing and assessment criteria for cannabis materials and products. The general scope of testing and assessment for cannabis materials and products includes chemistry, microbiology, and physical characteristics. Chemistry testing and assessments often cover cannabinoids including THC, heavy metals, mycotoxins, potency, including the application of recognized accepted methods to determine the strength of materials and finished products. The potency is directly related to the specified serving size and related volume of cannabinoids consumed. Some jurisdictions may mandate acceptable limits for variance tolerances for the potency of edible cannabis products. Terpenoids Residual pesticides Residual solvents and processing chemicals Microbiology testing and assessments often cover pathogens such as Clostridia species, Salmonella and E. coli, aflatoxin producing molds, spoilage organisms such as yeasts, molds and mildew. Physical testing and assessments often cover homogeneity, including confirmation of the consistent uniform distribution of cannabinoids throughout a finished product. Homogeneity is important for ensuring that the potency or strength of a finished product meets specifications. Moisture content and water activity. Did you know that HACCP.com includes resources that allow you to create, manage and implement GFSI and HACCP based food safety and quality programs? Improve your food safety and quality skills and knowledge? Train and develop your team to create better food safety and quality outcomes? Find suppliers and service providers to partner with your business? The information and training resources available through HACCP.com included a variety of formats, such as, website content, MP4, MP4 and text, MP3, PDF and slideshow. Are you ready to take the next step in your food compliance journey? Visit HACCP.com today to create your profile and access the full versions of our food safety and quality information packages and much more.